morning. It's day something. One forty something. I think it's June eleventh, but July. July eleventh. <laughs> we're uh, doing our last of our camp chores, and then we're gonna hit the trail and try to camp out at Sabbath Day Pond Shelter, which should be a nice one. Mm -hmm. Had a nice visit with my brother Nick yesterday. He uh, met us in Andover and bought us lunch and bought our resupply and. Drove us, took us on the town in yeah. Andover, A day on the town, and uh, so it was good to see him, and yeah, now we're just less than 250 to go, so trying to savor it, but still trying to rush through a little bit. Yeah, we're, we're getting ready to kind of finish, but we're feeling a little tired, feeling a little beaten up. Getting ready to back flush this Sawyer because oh it's getting pretty clogged. Yeah. Hopefully we find one soon. All right, later. Got some rebar. Must be getting close to the top of Big Blue or whatnot. Not too bad of a climb. Made it to Old Blue. 3,600 feet. All right, I have my hand over how much the price was for these delectable cookies, some would think. This is maybe a hot take, but I, Snake Farm bought these, and he offered me one, and I was like, I don't even want one of those. Like, they're just so gross to me. And I would just rather buy the cookie dough and, like, make homemade cookies and eat those, because they're so much, like, superior that these are disgusting to me. But what do you guys think? Are you Chips Ahoy people? And if so, why do you like them? And wouldn't you prefer, like, delicious warm cookies? delicious like freshly baked obviously we can't have like freshly baked ones out here or like homemade ones but like i wouldn't even want these so let me know Ten o'clock look at this gorgeous bench a little bit of a view as well nice day out seeing probably like 10 southbounders a lot of people out today just grab some water and heard a bunch of branches breaking. There's another little cross in the tree. <laughs> just doing its thing. Snake room just spotted another cross on trail. Eleven thirty. We've gone about five miles so far. Got another maybe six miles. 10 or 11 to go, get to the top of this. We got rain to the lake up there. Kind of like easy day though. I think we're gonna get some rain tomorrow, some thunderstorm. Just about one o'clock, made it to the shelter, which I think was like seven miles, seven point something maybe. But we were gonna keep going because the water here is bad. Seems to be dry. Yeah, very dry. It's been very dry in Maine too, which will probably change because I think tomorrow it's gonna be a bit rainy, but we got 8.2 until Sabbath Day Pond Lean To, and then there should be water at the bottom of this, which is maybe another mile, mile. And a half. Should be a nice pond. Yes. Snake farm's pretty worn hat, but look at all these cool feathers. We just found two of these earlier today. Gorgeous. Giant moose print right here. Have not yet seen one. We think we did hear one the other day. Just something clomping around and loud enough that it was moving. Felt like the, the earth close to us was moving, but no 
moose yet. No moose yet. And sometimes I wonder how they would get around because they're so big and it's quite like thick. The forest is quite thick or their vegetation is quite thick. So I'm gonna hopefully send us some good vibes about seeing some, please. Some good tips and tricks. Thank you. And what we got? Main Highway 17, 1.1 miles, South Arm Road, 11.9. Woo! Pepper Jack and Rosemary Triscuits by Brooke. Apparently this is our first forging. Uh, luckily for us, it's not very bad at all because it has not really been too rainy. So it makes it pretty easy. I am kind of upset because there are so many mosquitoes and I just wanted to lay down for a little bit and they will not leave me alone. So we are continuing on, got another 4.8 until we get to the shelter for the day. And then we can get inside our tent and get away from them. Woo. Did the climb up. Some clouds starting to come in. Gonna do a little bit of a teensy road walk and then continue on. And all who wander are lost. I feel like we always see that's like a classic. Protect birds, I like that, but like look, there's so many cool little like bumper sticker things here. Hiking sucks. <laughs> Whoa, who has that if you're over here? Five o'clock. Making pretty good time. Sabbath day pond slash lake. Beautiful. Coming in about 15 miles, or about 16 miles, and just saw a couple other no-bows coming in. Feeling a little frustrated, just because I feel like my body's pretty tired. I'm still having like issues with my back, so I'm gonna try to maybe switch it out. And I've been using Icy Hot, um, but it, yeah, I don't know. It's just like the right side of my upper back muscle or mid back muscle. So I've been trying to adjust my pack, but having issues and just seeing people kind of skate by, I'm like, oh, I'm struggling. But we're almost there. Snake Arm was asking if there's a loon out there, and I said it's too bright to see. But geez, I hope so. I'd love to hear a loon tonight. So I think this is actually Sabbath, Sabbath pond. The other one was like Long Lake or something. It was about 6.30. We made it to the shelter. Snake Farm is being wonderful and he's grabbing us water. It's probably like 15.8, almost 16 miles. And I don't know, I just feel like my body's falling apart a little bit and just just from the grind, but um, good day overall, really beautiful, nice weather. Uh, the mosquitoes have been a bit of a pain, but you know, that's just part of it. And tomorrow we're going into Rangeley and meeting up with my cousin who hiked the long trellis last year. So he's gonna come out with us for a night or two and we're gonna do a 4,000 footer. So gonna get myself a little bit of rest tomorrow, shorter day. And then we're going to go up and just kind of see how we feel. But it should be really fun and wonderful. So that's it for today. We're going to call it. And hopefully wherever you are watching this, you are getting cozy and able to just relax. Good night.